welcome to Z3 TV. This is training tip. Today we're going to talk about hill sprints. Hill sprints are done after an easy run. They are not a workout. They're not hill repeats. Hill sprints are done on a hill that's 6 to 8 percent grade. Um, we're going to use a hill today that's maybe not quite that steep, but you can mimic this on a treadmill to actually feel what a hill is that's 6 to 8 percent grade. We do hill sprints um, after an easy run because they are not a workout. They're simply meant to enhance your muscular strength, to increase your stride efficiency, and they're really good for injury prevention as they really engage your hamstrings and your glutes. So we want you to do these at least once a week on your training piece calendar. You should have an easy run and it'll say maybe like four by eight to ten second hill sprints after an easy run. Um, so we're going to have Kyle here demonstrate these today. He's going to have good arm carriage and um, I'm going to have him start at the bottom of the hill and then he's going to drive up for about 8 to 10 seconds, then take a full recovery walking back down the hill and he'll repeat that maybe four times uh, as he starts to do these and then over the course of the season he'll work up to maybe doing 10 by 10 second hill sprints. Some other things to note is when you're first doing hill sprints, don't try to do 10 by 10 second hill sprints right out of the gate. Start with maybe one or two, and then in each week work up to maybe doing a couple of more. A couple more. So for example, you're going to see in June that every Monday we'll do some hill sprints after an easy run on Training Peaks. We'll start with two. The next week we might go to four, six, eight, and ten. Um, if you want to do hill sprints twice a week, if running is your weakness, or if, if you don't have good strength on hills, you can do hill sprints twice a week. Um, but I would wait a few days, so maybe on Thursday, um, the day that you would train your limiter, if you're, you're running is your weakness, I would maybe do some hill sprints after your run or even after a workout as well. So again, they're good for injury prevention, stride efficiency, and they're just a really good way to enhance your neuromuscular fitness as a runner and as a track leader.